Hello, my name is Paul. Welcome to Paul's political program. I know the issues and problems facing America, but I don't know how to solve them. We the people do. Hopefully together we'll come up with solutions that will pass as laws. The format of my show is, I state an issue or problem and discuss it with a possible solution. That doesn't necessarily mean that I agree with it. You can post your solutions and comments under the YouTube video. I hope that's simple enough. The name of today's program is Bring All United States Troops Home, No More Overseas Involvement, Oil, Huge Problems Facing America, Is There Hope? Bring all of our troops home from these wars of conquest and occupation and put our troops to work building America's future instead. The military should be used like the police department, only in an emergency. We will bring all our troops home and still be able to keep an eye on what's going on globally. We have the technological capabilities. If we would have spent the same amount of money on developing our future energy needs as we do on occupying foreign countries, frequently for their oil, we would have had the problem solved by now. We would have been off of foreign oil dependency. America can still do this. America has enough oil reserves while the future energy needs are being developed. Green energy, it's a must, but there is no easy transformation to it because big oil is going to fight it every step of the way. There were modifications that could be made to old school carburetors and cars had something to do with heating the fuel to get a much higher level of complete combustion that increased the miles per gallon on some of those old heavy cars to over 100 miles per gallon. That's right, the technology is out there to make cars get 100 plus miles per gallon, but you know who bought up the patents on those inventions? The oil companies. Can you imagine how much oil that would save? Drive the profits for them right into the ground. Step one, let the government step in and revoke those patents and the secrecy surrounding them. That would buy us enough time to slowly transform from oil dependency to green, solar, wave, wind, I think they will all have a place in the future, but are going to be fought against every step of the way. If Americans are to start being producers, and again, and not just consumers, green energy sure seems like a good place to start if you ask me. The sources of oil we have, like tar sands, are just getting more expensive to get. People are in denial, saying there is tons of oil left saying we won't ever run out, but we are using millions and millions of barrels per day and the rate at which we use it is increasing. So if there is a limited amount of the stuff, which is non-renewable resource, and the amount we are using is steadily going up and up, how can it last forever? Not to mention it is a big polluter. People like to point out tar sands and oil shales as being great sources of oil, but they aren't. It's much more expensive to get the oil from these sources than from traditional sweet crude subsurface deposits where they just had to suck it out like a straw. With good oil deposits, the amount of energy you put into getting oil might have been something like 1 over 100. For every barrel of oil you get from a regular well, you had to expend one barrel to get it. With tar sands and oil shales it's something like 1 over 10 but people aren't considering that. There's more evidence there's more evidence to support the running low on fossil fuels claim as well. Look at the cost of extraction. Traditional oil extraction is easiest from shallow wells on land period. 1 over 100 but if you have to go down to deeper deposits it goes to like 1 over 90 and if you have to go offshore it gets really expensive. 
like 1 over 70. Needless to say, oil companies like the cheap stuff. It makes them more money. But if you look around the world right now, there is a major trend going on. Look at where all the new oil wells are being put in. You know where? Most 90% plus are being put in offshore in the deep water wells. Now you know they aren't doing that for the heck of it. They are doing it because that's all that's left. Really want my opinions on how to make America great again? I could talk for days about it, but in the end, I'm not really sure it's possible. It's such a complex topic, really. America has been in a general state of decline for several decades, I think. Maybe longer, actually. I know that if we are to do anything, we must become producers once again, rather than consumers. Americans have lost their way, lost their morals, lost their family values, lost their work ethic, lost a lot of things. There's no longer any hope for the entrenched political system we have. It's far too corrupt to hope for any real change. Both the Republicans and Democrats have been in power for far too long. Special interests have sank their claws into them and all the laws that are made, or not made for that matter, are, brought and, are bought and paid for by special interest groups. Politicians don't vote for the best interests of the people. They vote for who fills their pockets with cash. As long as that remains the same, we will continue our decline. I think that maybe to understand where we need to go in the future, we should have a look at what got us here. But even that is a complex thing. From the invention of the TV, to the working mother, to the decline of religion, to, well, all sorts of things. For the future of America to have any chance, I think we would have to stop voting across the board for all the Republicans and Democrats. They should be tried in court for what they have and are doing. We need to level the playing field on so many levels, so many things I don't understand. Why do the Chinese and many if not all other countries get to put such high tariffs on American goods, but they can sell all they want here with little or none? Why do we send mountains of money to other countries in foreign aid? Why do we wage wars of occupation across the globe and then wonder why most of the world hates us? Mexico, build a wall on the border with Mexico as well. Let them come into the country in a controlled manner just like my previous generations from other countries did. There is no reason they can't follow the same rules as everybody else has to. It's out of control. Make them follow the rules. Solutions and comments are welcome. Thank you and have a great day.